The Riverdon engine is the last remaining example of a rolling mill engine of its kind. The other three engines have been melted down, been broken up. The engine that we've got in the museum was built for camel lairds. It worked at the Grimesthorpe Works. When they became part of English steel, the whole thing was uprooted and moved to what is now Forge Masters, which was then Riverdon Works. So the Davy Brothers engine then became the Riverdon engine. It was designed to drive an armour plate rolling mill. And this dates right back to the French starting to ironclad their timber battleships. So that's why the Riverdon engine exists. It was to roll battleship plate. To get the Riverdon engine running each day for the public, we light the boiler at nine o'clock to start the process of raising steam. That steam is allowed onto the engine for at least two hours to get the engine warm. You can't run it until it's warm. At 11 o'clock, we'll turn the engine over slowly to get any moisture out of it from the steam. At that point, we can then add the gallon of oil across the three cylinders to lubricate the engine. It's then ready to run at 12 o'clock. The engine itself runs on 100 pounds per square inch of steam. In industry, it would have had 160 pounds per square inch. We've got one boiler that will run the engine up to speed, but not for any long duration. In industry, in its first factory, it had 12 boilers that were coal-fired. In the second factory it worked at, it had 10 gas-fired boilers. So we can run the Riverdon engine a couple of times a day for five minutes at a dramatic speed. We run it up to 90 revs per minute. In industry, the speed wasn't as important as the power. It was just for the power to be able to squeeze ingots into a battleship plane.
as regards the lifespan of the Riverdon engine, it's over 100 years old now. It was built to last. Having said that, when it's moving, there's 100 tonnes of moving steel, but there's no reason why it would ever break or wear itself out. While ever there's an engineering department taking good care of it, there's no reason why it should not continue for another 100 years.